today I will be speaking, as you can see on your screen, about uh, initiative, a futuristic initiative of the European Commission. It's called European Digital Innovation Hubs Network. Why is it futuristic? Uh, it exists currently, but it is yet to deliver the value uh, for the small and medium enterprises across Europe, it's its main value. Uh, so I believe this will kick in in two, three years time. It will be very hot in two, three years time. Uh, right now, it's great that we are speaking about this network of digital hubs, simply because the interest of small and medium enterprises due to the low awareness, relatively low awareness, I would like to say, is, is war. This means that everyone that is watching right now or the recording uh, would be able to benefit from from the existing uh, network of hubs by uh, leveraging their free services uh, and yes they are free i mean they are counted as a state aid but most of the hubs provide services absolutely for free some of them uh, provide them to a big discount but most of them including all of the hubs in bulgaria while i'm representing one such provide their services to small and medium enterprises across Europe, across entire Europe, for free. And not many companies know that there are such uh, dig digitalization and consult consultancy services offered for free. That, that's why the Futurist Expo is a great place where I can uh, basically speak about it. And um, maybe you would be uh, you know, very lucky because the competition uh, would be lower right now compared to what will be in two, three years time the situation. Um, so basically, I, I'm sharing right now, the, I don't have a certain presentation, I'm doing it freestyle, I'm sharing right now the website of the, of the Hubs Network. It is governed by the Digital Technology uh, Accelerator, DTA. So any questions that you may have in regards to the content of the website, I'm not speaking on behalf of DTA or of the European Commission, I'm speaking on my behalf and on behalf of the Digital Innovation Hub Trachea known also as cyber for all but any questions you may have in general for the program you can uh, probably find a response in the frequently asked questions or you can just write to our colleagues from the dta who are managing the platform i'm right now here I, in order to present you uh, the most important thing which is the the catalog of digital innovation hubs the EDIH catalog. It's over here. I'm clicking right now and uh, due to the great connection uh, we have in Bulgaria, I suppose uh, with, without an effort, you're seeing right now the catalog. It's important to note its existence is simply because there are more than 150 hubs right now. All of them are providing different services according to their country and regional focus according to their services, technology and sectoral focus. And it's important to navigate well to find the, the thing you're looking for to start with. So what you can do here is to basically browse through more than 30 different countries or you can just select all of them because as I said, if you are a small or medium enterprise, this includes micro enterprises, this includes freelancers. As long as they pay taxes, they you know are operating in in uh, any of the European uh, economies. Uh, they they would be able to benefit, uh, and this also includes to surprise um, to the surprise to many also public institutions because public institutions are also active. They provide economic services. They provide um, uh, different uh, not only services, different goods as well to citizens so they can also use for free the services provided by the hubs, uh, not in their country only, but in countries elsewhere across Europe as well. Any of these 33 are available to you. Let's see what happening in Bulgaria. We can filter in the country. We can, let's say, skip for now the services, technologies and sectoral filters. What we can see is that in Bulgaria, there are 12 hubs. Um, I'm representing here I am the Cyber for All Star, which is the abbreviation of our Digital Innovation Hub Trachea. It shows, it, it comes to show you that we are focusing on cyber security. Cyber for All Star is short for cyber security for all stakeholders. Um, basically, uh, th there are others as well, but what is important for you to have in mind is that over here on edit type, you can also um, basically filter only those that are currently being funded under Digital Europe. This will guarantee you that um, as long as they are funded under Digital Europe, 
they would be uh, active in terms of provision of free services. So we, if we you know, choose this particular uh, option, uh, despite that we have 12 in Bulgaria, you will see that currently there are four providing services with funding from Digital Europe. Of course, there is co-funding from the national um, programs under the European um, Restructuring and Development Fund. We have the Ministry of Innovation and Growth governing uh, the innovation um, program in Bulgaria uh, with funds from, from the European uh, Development Fund. We, basically, these funds are being provided as co-funding so that we can provide for services for free. And uh, who we are, we are the agro DG Rice Hub, providing services in the agrarian sector, ours in the cybersecurity field, covering basically the entire country. We provide services to companies from different industries uh, because cybersecurity is relevant uh, across the spectrum. There is also the hub in the field of um, construction, construction technologies and also one focusing on, on green transition based in Stara Zagora in Bulgaria. And uh, basically, uh, you can continue to filter according to the different technologies these hubs are specialized or according to their sectoral focus. But the point is that whenever you find uh, a hub of interest, you can just you know go to its uh, website. Our website is uh, basically now the time on the cybersecurity for all star hub, uh, I can just share that we are representatives of the Union for Private Economic Initiative, uh, also representatives of the Bulgarian uh, Academy of Sciences, the Institute of Information and Communication Technologies, the Podiv municipality, because we have also a regional focus to cover uh, the south central region of the country, also uh, representatives of the Bulgarian Cyber Security Association, as you can clearly see. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, we, we, we do service uh, across the spectrum. We provide 30 services. But if you want to understand more, you just click on, on the uh, URL pointed for the hub and you go to the hub's web page, where apparently in the service section, you would be able to see around 30 services provided uh, from managed security services, digital maturity assessment, vulnerability assessment, threat assessment to penetration te tests, whether white box, gray box or black box, we provide penetration testing for networks and for applications. And also, of course, consulting services, which means we can consult you on how you to improve your application. Uh, if you're a startup, if you're a scale up, it doesn't matter uh, if it's an uh, on-prem, if it's a cloud application, it doesn't matter. Uh, we, we consult them all. Uh, and of course, we have a, a big focus on um, training. We have a cyber range built uh, in, in, in Plovdiv. Uh, the cyber range is um, accessible for training purposes, uh, where you, you go through a scenario of an attack and there is a team um, basically providing defense, while at the same time, another team, team is attacking um, and uh, emulated. Uh, version of a certain system and uh, you can basically monitor how this process of attack and defense unfolds live. Um, we, we provide the same service but not for, not for training of experts but like to basically find weak spots in certain um, applications that are in development. So we are of, of great value to startups for their proof of concepts. And also, uh, our uh, cyber range can be used for uh, competence uh, assessment, for recruitment as well purposes. Uh, we can continue with the, the, the I would say, um, review of the services, but that's not my uh, point today. As you can see, we have uh, in R&D phase right now a system that is providing um, reassurance against uh, ransomware attacks because statistics show that they're the most uh, I would say harmful right now on the global cybersecurity stage. And they're also ones that are in uh, the biggest volumes simply because, you know, they're profitable for, for uh, the criminals. Uh, and we, we end uh, more or less again on skills and trainings uh, from cyber hygiene, basic cybersecurity trainings to trainings for specialists from the companies like penetration testing fundamentals, web hacking fundamentals, cyber defense, offensive penetration testing, 
uh, HPC and AI uh, trainings as well, simply because um, AI has a lot to do with cybersecurity these days for good and for bad and so on and so forth. There are around 30, we have only 15 minutes, so I'm not going to be able to go through all of them. I simply wanted to emphasize that uh, we are here to serve you for free. More than 150 hubs like ours are here to serve you for free right now and today. I'm speaking about futurism simply because people would be aware about this uh, very actively seeking in two, three years time. If you seek us today, if you request information or you just contact us today, you will be able to provide, uh, we will be able to provide you with these services like uh, on Monday because we are, we are recording and streaming today on Friday. So we have 48 hour window in which we, we guarantee that we would be able to uh, respond back to your request for servicing. I hope many of the other hubs are working in a similar manner. Uh, I just want to mention, because I see I have like two minutes uh, remaining, that we also provide, I would say, pro bono services in other fields. So if you uh, would like to join our ecosystem, you can just request this through this button on the screen. This means that we would be able to feature you among other innovators. It doesn't matter if you're based in Bulgaria or based in um, elsewhere across Europe. Uh, the idea is to enable you to sell more. The, uh, of course, you have a, a vetting process. I don't guarantee 48 hours for your application, but once online, we would be able to navigate our customers, which we service for free. Once we complete the, uh, the work with them, we can basically point them towards you as long as you can add value as a, as a corporate uh, entity. Uh, we also uh, provide many other opportunities to interact with us. For example, just a few days ago, we, we used Convo Circle platform and we were very happy with our experience to run a cybersecurity webinar with uh, colleagues from Austria and Croatia. The webinar right now is uh, on our YouTube channel where you can find the recording. So we provide information uh, simply as an ongoing 24-7 uh, service. Right, uh, this webinar was on the new regulations in the field of cybersecurity on the EU stage. We spoke about the Cybersecurity Act, the Cybersecurity Certification Framework, the NIST 2 Directive, the Cyber Resilience Act. All of these things, if you are a company operating in Europe, are totally of your interest simply because they affect you in, in uh, actually not only a company. If you are a user in Europe, you should be aware of what these regulations are uh, holding for you as an opportunity. Uh, and uh, as I'm in my 60 second, what I just want to emphasize for like-minded uh, colleagues from uh, the cybersecurity sector that are probably watching is that we are part also of the European Cybersecurity Association. Uh, the Union for Private Economic Enterprise, which is the coordinator of our hub, is part of EXO. They have a CyberHive initiative where you can find um, companies that are vetted by EXO as a trusted provide providers of cybersecurity services. Uh, so you can uh, find more there. Check the EXO website also to, to, to have information about other exciting opportunities such as Cyber for Women, which is a great initiative. Also, Road to Cyber, which is an initiative uh, for finding jobs in the field of cybersecurity. Also, if you're an HR, that's the right place, Road to Cyber platform, an, an initiative of EXO. And also, EXO right now has uh, on the Road to Cyber platform uh, a, a lot of free courses. So, free education in the field of cybersecurity is available not only through our hub, but also through EXO. And uh, you're more than uh, invited to, to visit it. Finally, because I see that uh, NASCO will kill me because I am over my time, I just want to mention that the European Digital Innovation Hub Trakia is behind the initiative to build a corridor along the north-south axis of the European Union, its uh, central and eastern European flank. Uh, basically, we want to enable innovation cooperation from the Baltics to the White Sea, transitionally across the Black Sea, because right now there is the Three Seas Initiative, which is an intergovernmental initiative, uh, but it's focusing mostly on infrastructure development. Uh, we want to extend the Three C Initiative to focus on innovation. And this is a, a futuristic concept to end uh, uh, my conversation and start the Q&A session, simply because uh, I believe that um, uh, we don't do enough in terms of 
partnering across this uh, north-south uh, uh, sea axis of the Union. The, the economic relationships are not there yet, they're not strong yet. Uh, the, even the movement is, that's why the focus of the initiative is on infrastructure right now, the, the movement is, is not active enough. Uh, we want to build on, on what we currently have and we are open to partnering, partnering with innovators from all of these countries that you see right now on the map. We currently have partners from Greece, from Austria, from Croatia, from Hungary, from Latvia, from Romania. But, uh, you know, we want to activate further the innovation cooperation uh, along the Three Seas Initiative front because we believe uh, there is a lot of untapped value there. And uh, my call to all, all on the call today is, uh, you know, let's turn this futuristic concept that we have into reality together. Let's uh, network more and let's collaborate more. Nasco, I'm open for questions. Thank you a lot again for the opportunity. You are uh, doing great job for uh, the cause that we have with the European Commission, all the hubs 150. We already have a page on Convo Circle con called convocircle.com slash edic, where webinars in the future will be streamed. So again, thank you for, for what you are doing for this cause.